So uh, today we have with us Hubert Parent uh, Bouchard from Radisson Mining, which can be traded as RDS on the TSX Venture. Very significant news this week, uh, drilling results. Uh, you also uh, were able to show pictures of the drill core. This is a very high-grade gold project, historic project in Quebec. Hubert, thank you so much for being here with us today and for giving us an update on Radisson. Thank you very much, uh, Jeb. Thanks uh, for having me. It's uh, always a pleasure. Well, it's a company that I've been following now for many, many months, uh, maybe a, even a year or so now. Uh, but really got excited in 2020 when you announced the beginning of the drilling program. And then we had a little bit of a halt with the COVID-19 situation, but now the drilling programs started up again. I think it's 60,000 meters. And uh, you're releasing news finally. And some of that news is showing some really high grade visible, visible gold at depth, showing the, the large potential here uh, uh, and growth potential. So. Thank you for being here with us today and maybe giving us an update on what the company is seeing right now uh, with the drilling and update us on the drilling program and the recent news. Yeah, well, I'll share my screen in a few minutes, uh, but the, just as an intro, you mentioned we're on a 60,000 meter uh, drill program. Uh, so far, only around 35% of uh, these uh, drilling have come to the market. Um, we plan on completing that uh, that 60,000 meter drill uh, program by year end. So there's going to be an exciting new slow uh, all the way through the year uh, if, if we can do that. So it's going to be an exciting time for us in, in 2020. And first goal of uh, that drilling program was to validate our new model on which we based uh, the resource estimate in 2019. We feel that uh, this was a uh, success in the first leg of the, the program uh, and part of the goal was to uh, kind of highlight uh, we could repli replicate uh, the district production that we've had on site uh, from O'Brien as you mentioned uh, the O'Brien mine represent uh, produce around 600,000 ounces at 15.2 uh, grams per ton uh, down to a depth of uh, a thousand meters so these, these ore shoot, they have very good vertical continuity. And we felt that we were in a system of repetition. So that's what we've been trying to highlight. And as you mentioned um, earlier, we've been highlighting this in, in, a, in a particular trend on the property uh, on which we have assay spending with uh, very, very remarkable uh, visible gold showings. But uh, even more important, uh, in the news release we published uh, on Monday, we've highlighted a second area, 300 meters east from that trend, where we think we have an additional uh, potential ore shoot. So that brings that shows a lot of the potential. And uh, this area is uh, is open mainly open below 400 meters, so it's uh, shallower drilling. So it's very interesting. And you know, the, the, the grade was never an issue with this project. This is a high grade project. You were hitting high grade last year. I guess what people, investors want to see is, can this grow? And can this reach a size that the majors or the mid tiers uh, would want to, you know? So this is some important results. Um, so could you take us through some of the slides and share the um, where the results are coming from and why this is a, a significant opening up uh, uh, of, a, of some areas. So you can see the corporate deck here on screen. Um, as I mentioned, the O'Brien produce uh, close to 600,000 ounces. It's still renowned at, as the richest mine by grade in Quebec with the head grade over, of Over 15 grams per ton gold, wow. Exactly. Um, just going through uh, our location, we're halfway between Rouen, Renda, and Valdor, uh, directly on the larger Lake Cadillac break. Um, our camp alone, the Cadillac Boost camp, camp, has produced more than 25 million ounces of gold over the last 100 years. 
Um, there's currently uh, three mines in operation in, on, uh, within the camp. Um, the Westwood mine of uh, IM Gold, a uh, major producer, uh, is around 21 kilometers away from the project. And we've got the Laron mine of Agnico Eagle as well, which is uh, the deepest mine in North America right now. It goes down to uh, 3.2 kilometers depth. Um, so presence of major in the camp. And we have 100% ownership on around four and a half kilometer of the larger Lake Cadillac break, uh, just south of the uh, the Laron mine. Going. So this is an interesting slide here because if you go back to that one, yeah. um, because this shows the different zones that you're beginning to hit here on from the top side. I never I had never really looked at this slide slide closely. Okay. But this talks about the different zones here, the F zone, the 36 zone, and O'Brien, which you're going to show in the next slides as well. Uh -huh. Exactly. And more importantly, yes, we have four and a half kilometer of the break, but we have also a secondary structure coming yes. into the break, the Lake Emo Fault. So and that's where, where those meet. Maybe that's where the geologists are looking. That's where the, uh, the high grade, that's... Uh, that's the where th those look like they meet at a certain point or intersect. Exactly. From now, we see it at least once in the infrastructure of the old O'Brien mine and once in the area between the F zone and the 36E zone. So when that, that fault plays off the break, it usually becomes a very interesting target. Uh, and that's where we see high grade gold. So. And you have majors all surrounding you here. There's Agnico here, there's Agnico surrounding you here, right? Agnico uh, owns most of the ground in the area, that's right. They also mm -hmm. had the Lapa mine uh, that was in production, I think, on, until 20, late 2018 or early 2019. Wow. Um, at the time, they were trucking the Lapa ore to uh, the Laon mill. So, um, and I mean, it's it's a very good infrastructure. Uh, we're halfway between two mining towns. Presence of best-in-class operators. Uh, low cost of exploration. We've been drilling that thing at one hundred and ten dollars per meter, all in cost right now. Wow! For the last uh, five years, so you can ask for a, for a better setup. As we mentioned, ninety percent of the district production came from three veins in the old O'Brien. Uh, that showed a very strong, strongly dipping typical trend down to a thousand meter uh, elevation, a thousand and a hundred meter uh, elevation. Our resource uh, has been defined on only uh, one one point five kilometer of the land package, and we own four and a half kilometer. Wow. The bulk of the resource is from surface down to uh, 550 meter. So still plenty of potential uh, below. Uh, it, it has to be addressed uh, by drilling. Um, and this, where these two stars are, that's where those assays are pending where and you can go online and see the pictures of that for those geologists that like to look at the drill core. There's some very interesting visible uh, in the press release that you showed. Yeah, well, this area here uh, was the, the first area we attacked when we started drilling back in 2019. And one of the first holes we drilled um, intersected eight and a half meter, eight and a half gram over two meter. So we've been wedging from that hole uh, and we were wedging actually completing the first wedge when uh, the, the, the shutdown occurred uh, in Quebec due to, to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, the goal of this was to define or show the continuity of those zones towards uh, the, the best hole we've had at depth uh, so far, which returned 66 grams. Uh, over 4.7 meters. Um, wow. And That's some of the best. That, those are some of the top grade results, I think, that I've seen in the past year or two. I mean, those are some knockout results. 
very good uh, results. We're quite happy with that. And when was when did those results come out? That was uh, back in in October. Uh -huh. um, subsequently, we published uh, more holes below this this resource area here. Uh, one of them returned 23 grams over 2.6 meter, uh, and the second returned 16.7 grams over 4 meters. So we feel we have a very like compelling area uh, where we can add a lot of. Are there, are there, is there I guess we're having the assays are pending, and is there more drilling going on now? Yeah, we uh, assays that are pending on W1 and W2. Uh, we are completing at, a, at the moment a third wedge uh, here, and a fourth wedge is planned. Um, and over the next few weeks, we'll move the drill rig and go towards the east here uh, to fill those gaps between th these two holes. Um, let me show you a bit of a... Uh, before, before you leave this slide, I want to just say, uh, if you can go back and we'll look at the core, but Ken Williamson, if you look here for investors here, Radisson Mining, this is done by Ken Williamson. The importance of Ken Williamson and, and his role with Radisson. Hubert, could you highlight in his background? Yeah, well, Ken is a, a master in structural geology. And back in late 2018, we hired a new uh, exploration manager, Richard Yeminen. So fresh thinking on the project. Uh, the first hole we drilled with, with Richard uh, was in that area here. And it returned around 37 grams per ton over 12.8 meters. And just above in the hole, uh, we had uh, around 8.7 grams uh, over 12 meters again. And the first question I got from investors was, well, nice hole, but how can you do that? Can you do it again? So I turned the question to, to Shaw and he said, you know, I like the project a lot, but with the model we have right now, I don't know where the goal is coming from. So um, he suggested that uh, we contract Ken, uh, Ken Williamson. Um, Ken, who was on the team uh, that discovered the, the high grade zone uh, with Gold Corp. Uh, at the time of uh, Rob McEwen. Um, so he, we gave him all our data, worked with him for a couple of months. He came up with a, a new, uh, new thinking on the project uh, that the high grade uh, could be coming from mainly cross cutting structures. Um, so we verified that model uh, with data that we had from the old O'Brien mine um, to kind of uh, find out or discover an old model, if I can say. Uh, you can see here different trends on those veins. And usually when these veins cross, that's where you see a high grade blowout, uh, both in terms of, of grade and thicknesses. And that's what returned most of the production at O'Brien. Uh, back in the, the 1920s to 50s, 50s. So that's what we've been targeting uh, as of late. And you can see those cross-cutting structure here at O'Brien. We think we have one down here uh, between the 3060 and the, the F zone. And we think we have an additional one here, which remains to be drilled below uh, below 400 meters, but uh, on which we've had a, a successful hole here um, with, uh, with, with 8.3 grams over six meters. Uh, so this thinking opens up the pro project a lot and hopefully we can replicate that trend uh, additional times on, on the property. Um, but right now the drilling is focused on, on these area 
where we have a strong potential for, for additional ounces. And as we complete modelization on that portion of the area, uh, uh, on that portion of the project, um, drilling will be, will be assessed uh, over there too. Well, take a look at the chart on Radisson Mining. It's, uh, it's beginning to make a major breakout here, just starting, uh, especially now that the COVID-19 has that we were started up. There's visible gold as uh, Hubert, could you discuss uh, here the significance of these pictures? Yeah, well, what's, what's compelling here is all, all now we've got results from four holes that we've completed at depth below 36E in that trend. Uh, all of them are high, high grade. Uh, we feel we are in a high grade vector uh, down there. And the two holes that we've completed have, have uh, the two wedge on which assays are pending have returned significant uh, high grade high grade intercept, including, well, not high grade yet, but we're waiting for results. But this is the type of stuff we're looking for directly on target. So it proves to us that the zones are there and the model is, is accurate at predicting those zones. So including Mr. Smiley here uh, in 98. Well, you do. So quite excited about the next legs of, finance, of, uh, of drilling, actually. Hubert, how can investors contact you? Can you show, show us the contact page so uh, yeah. if they want to contact you and, and go through this, uh, the presentation with you themselves or go get more information if they're a geologist or an engineer? Right here, my contact is on that okay. slide. It's on the deck on the website as well, www.radisonmining.com. Um, always available for a call or a Zoom meeting. It's... Uh, that's the way we work these days in that environment, not leaving home much, but uh, seizing the opportunity to, uh, to talk to, to investors every day. So. Yes, the chart, from my perspective as an investor, the chart looks very exciting here. The gold market's finally taking off. The junior miners that are drilling, actively drilling away this summer, uh, especially with high-grade gold projects in that district in Quebec, which is the top mining jurisdiction where all the majors are. This is what you want to be looking for. This ticks the boxes. Um, I do have a position, uh, and I am, you know, and I do have a conflict of interest, but I would like you to introduce to Hubert and do more in in uh, research for yourself. This is a, a real gold mining company uh, in Quebec, in Val, in Val d'Or, in the area, uh, that these guys know really what they're doing and to find high-grade gold, Ken Williamson, Mario Bouchard, Hubert Par Parent Bouchard, I, I really suggest you do more information, uh, do, do more research and get more information and speak to Hubert yourself. It's a, a really interesting, exciting opportunity that I found uh, over the past few months and, uh, and uh, I hope to build and to continue to build my pos position in the company. So thank you, Hubert, for being here with us today uh, to, to give us an update on Radisson Mining, which can be traded as RDS. Thank you, Hubert. Thank you very much, uh, Jeb. It's always a pleasure. And again, I'm always a call away. So if anything, please feel free to, to schedule a call or call me directly and I'll be happy to talk with the uh, prospective investors. Uh,